Hello students, this is your teacher Malu Obispo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Before we start the class, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button para updated kayo sa next quiz ninyo. At kung may tanong kayo, just comment down below. Magandang araw sa ating lahat, Grade 9 sa Maria Sinai, Shilo, and Shalem. Ngayong araw na ito ay ating ipagpapatuloy ang ating pag-aaral sa Household Services. Ang Household Services ay under ng Unit 3 ng ating textbook. Ang Unit 1 ay tungkol sa Cleaning Floors and Surfaces. At ngayon naman ay sisimula natin ang Chapter 2 na pinamagatang cleaning furnitures. Mayroon tayong tatlong objectives para sa chapter na ito. We need to identify the different types of furnitures. Second, demonstrate proper care and maintenance of furnitures. And third, perform safety procedures and techniques in removing stains on furnitures. Ano kaya ang itsura ng ating bahay or ng ating office kapag walang furnitures? Hindi siguro siya magandang tignan. Ang furnitures kasi ay, ay ang mga movable objects. They are the movable objects intended to support various human activities like eating, sleeping, and sitting. These are used to make a house or building conducive and comfortable to live and work in. So remember that, conducive and comfortable to live and work in. Meron tayong at least 10 different types of furnitures. Depende ito doon sa panahon kung nakailan siya nagawa, na invento at ginamit. Meron tayong Gothic, Renaissance, Tudor, Jacobian, Rococo, Neoclassic, Art Nouveau, Scandinavian, Country, and Japanese. Pag sinabi natin na Gothic, style ng furniture, nag-originate ito sa France noong 12th century, century and lasted until the 16th century. It is characterized by heavily carved and decorated furnitures that features columns, cutouts, and extravagant treachery. This style of furniture was more about style than practicality and comfort. So, mas maganda yung style pero hindi siya practical at hindi siya comfortable. Ang Renaissance naman also originated in France from 13th century until the 17th century. Ito yung style na nagpe-feature naman ng biblically inspired artworks katulad ng mga ginawa ni Michael Angelo. Pangatlo ay ang Tudor. Ito naman ay nag-originate sa Europe that lasted from the late 15th century to early 17th century. It is characterized by very large carved pieces with many straight lines as influenced by Renaissance and Gothic styles. So yung Tudor ay combination ng unang dalawa. Yung Gothic styles at saka yung Renaissance, yung combination niya, yan na yung naging Tudor na pumalit sa dalawang klase ng furniture nung panahon na yun. Jacobian naman ang sumunod sa Tudor. This is the style of furniture that lasted from early mid-17th century. It replaced the Tudor style and features oak furnitures with twisted table and leg chair. So yung karakteristik nito, ang mga paanang table at chairs ay twisted. Later, nilagyan na ito ng padding. Pads were added to their chairs to make them more comfortable. Maaring matigas or masik masakit upuan ng matagal, kaya nilagyan na ito ng padding. Ang panglima naman ay Rococo. Naging popular ito during the first half of the 18th century and was revived in the mid-19th century when it became popular to collect the 18th century furniture. Ano naman ang karakteristik nito? Ito yung marami, excessive and elaborate curves. Ito yung Rococo. After ng Rococo, ang sumunod naman ay ang Mayo Classic, the style of furniture that began in the mid-18th century and lasted until the mid-19th century. 
It is influenced by the archaeological discoveries in the 18th century. It is characterized by bold, straight lines, and that replace the curved shapes of Rococo style. So after ng Rococo, ang pumalit naman ay ang Neoclassic. After ng Neoclassic, we have the Art Nouveau. Nouveau means new or bago. Art Nouveau originated in France and spread to the United States from the early 19th century up to the early 20th century. Ano naman ang karakteristik nito? It is characterized by an ornate and delicate style that featured long and curved lines. It included pictures that featured women's body, flowers, and leaves. So ang Art Nouveau, ang furniture na mayroong women's body, flowers, and leaves. After ng Art Nouveau, we have the Scandinavian. So yung Scandinavian naman ay ang furniture na na-introduce noong 1930s. It is characterized by simple but quality craftsmanship using lightweight materials like plywood created for mass production. So ito yung maramihan na ginagawa kaya light, lightweight lang ang materials. Scandinavian was followed by country style of furniture. So ito ay ginagawa ng mga craftsmen that were influenced by their old-fashioned and traditional style rather than modern movements. After ng country style of furniture, we have the Japanese style. Ang karakteristik naman nito ay minimalist. Ito yung style ng bahay na ang dekorasyon nila ay mayroong sliding doors, mats, movable folding screen that are used to divide the rooms. Meron tayong three types of furniture. We have the living room furniture, dining and kitchen room furniture, and then we have the bedroom furniture. Under ng living room furniture, mayroon tayong tinatawag na sectional couches or sofa, ottoman, sofa, end table, coffee table, lab seat, city, console, or entryway or sofa table. We also have the entertainment center and TV stand. Ayan, I'm sure you are familiar with those uh, kinds of furniture. For the kitchen and dining room furniture, we have the following. We have dining table, cupboard, china table, buffet, and bar stool. Yung images niyan, yung uses and description ay makikita natin sa ating textbook. By the way, ang coverage ng ating lesson ngayon ay mula sa page 373 hanggang page 383. At ang ating quiz ay matatagpuan natin sa page 384. For the bed furniture, we have the following. Bed or bed frame. Mattress, headboard, dresser, nightstand, armor, and we have the wardrobe. So yung ating pag-aaral ng pagbibinis ng furnitures, kailangan maintindihan natin yung care and maintenance of furniture, type of stains, removing stains on furniture, removing stains on wood furniture, how to remove different stains, and the methods of the moving stains. So, care and maintenance of the furniture. Una, do not place furniture in direct sunlight kasi yan ay uh, kukupas, yan ay mag-iiba ang kulay. Number two, avoid extreme changes in temperature. Hindi yung sobrang init, pagkatapos lalagay natin sa malamig. Number three, do not place plastic or rubber materials on your furniture. Number four, occasionally rotate accessories on furniture para hindi yun matagal na nakadagan sa the same spot ng matagal. Number five, do not sit, sit on arm rest because it can cause deformities where the filter can be displaced and the seams can rupture if the tensile force is excessive. Number six, para sa may mga alagang pets, meron tayong dogs or cats sa loob ng bahay, we should pay attention that pet nails can scratch the leather, wooden details, and pull out the thread from the fabric. 
their saliva and sweat might have negative effects on leather furnitures. Number seven, do not use liquid made of acid or with large amount of chlorine and other similar products on furnitures. Kasi maari ito may harsh chemicals or oil containing solvents katulad ng acetone, thinner or alcohol na pwedeng makadamage sa ating furnitures. Number eight, furniture should be regularly vacuumed or ventilated. Nine, clean up spills immediately. Pag, pag nadumihan, dinisin na natin agad, mas madali itong dinisin kung fresh pa yung dumi kesa pagtatagalin natin. Number ten, use protective pads when writing with ball pen or on the furniture surface. Ayan, huwag tayo mag-iiwan ng matutulis na bagay, katulad ng dulo ng suklay o kaya ball pen or pencil. Kailangan merong pad na para protection ng ating leather na mga furnitures. Number 11, lift and place objects rather than dragging them across the furniture su surface. Halimbawa, imove natin from one place to the other. Kailangan buhatin kesa yung tinutulak, mas maganda yung lifting kesa push and pull. Number 12, avoid placing furnitures directly under the windows. So, yan ang mga ating tatandaan para natin maingatan, care and maintenance ang, ang furnitures at mas maging matagal ang kanyang lifespan. Meron tayong iba't ibang klase ng stains. Saan ba nanggagaling ang mancha? Pwedeng dye, chemical, Special stain katulad ng mga nanggaling sa scorch or chewing gum, organic stain, lacquer, protein, tannin, greasy, and combination stain. So dahil may iba't iba tayong stains, meron din tayong iba't ibang paraan ng pagtanggal. Depende din sa klase ng furniture. Meron tayong procedure sa pagtanggal ng stain sa furnitures na hindi wood at meron din naman tayong tinatawag para sa wooden furnitures. Meron tayong uh, water-based, meron naman tayong tinatawag na uh, may solvent. Yung cleaning ay water-free product, kailangan ay dry detergent. Kailangan din naman natin na merong professional cleaning ang ating Uh, hihingaan ng tulong. Siyempre, ito ay may charge. Kaya mas maganda, marunong tayong maglinis ng ating mga furnitures. So, yung different stains na yan ay meron ding different procedures. Halimbawa, iba yung paraan ng pagtanggal natin kung ang natapon ay red wine, juice, or mustard, or organic dry dyes. So, iba din ang paraan kapag ka blood, butter, cheese, or ink. Halimbawa, Yung E, kailangan mag-spray tayo ng kaunting hairspray solution dun sa spot and use a rinse black rinse technique to wash it off. Hindi yung masyadong pupuskusin, parang ipapa-absorb lang natin yun sa cloth. In general, we have two methods of removing stains. We have the physical and the chemical method. So, abangan ninyo ang tabayanan ninyo sa ating group chat ang aking mga demonstrations kung papaano magtanggal ng different type different types of stains sa furniture at kung papaano tayo maglinis ng furnitures so para sa ating pagsusulit para sa ating evaluation ang tabayanan po ninyo yung page so we will answer yung page to 384 sa ating libro. So, this is all for now. Goodbye and God bless us all.